Oi, oi, he's only got an an idea. <laughs> there we go. We're in Brazil. We're outside. We're out and about. And he's only got an an idea. You know how they say good idea in Portuguese? They say... A boy there, né? A boy there. A boy there. Yeah, so this must be a light bulb company behind me. Hence why it's probably called light. But hey, look at this. I didn't even think about that. Here I am shining my light. Here I am shining my light. And that's what this video is about. I've had this little idea. I've had this little idea. It's about shining my light. Wow, unbelievable. So I saw that, I saw this wall and I was like, oh, that's a cool wall. I'll do my video there. I'll start it there. And then I saw the light bulb and I thought, oh, that'd be funny having that above my head. And I didn't even realize it was a light company. And I always talk about shining your light. Here we go. I mean, can you feel the Holy Spirit? Can you feel the higher power? Unbelievable. I like saying that, that word, don't I? Unbelievable. I don't believe it. No credito. It's like a Portuguese lesson today, isn't it? But m more than that, more than that, let's get to the point. Let's get to the root of the fruit. It's a spiritual awakening, this whole thing. I was thinking about it today. And I'm like, you know, this semen retention that I'm talking about, it's fun and everything. And I'm doing it. I'm telling the truth. But I've already done that 100 days. I wanted to get, you know, clear again and document it. And I want to reach as many people as I can. I feel like the Pied Piper now. Come on. I'll show you the way. Here's the truth. Let's go. <laughs> um, unbelievable. Unbelievable. What a great day. Ochimogia. What a great day. Great day. Ochimogia. So, yeah. And I was thinking about it. And I'm thinking, like anything, stopping something, it's great stopping something so whether that's like you, you, you're you're watching porn whether that's like you're gambling too much whether that is you are addicted to cocaine or drugs marijuana al alcohol whatever it is that's kind of you know like you go on a roller coaster to get on the roller coaster you need to be a certain height to get on the roller coaster that's just the entrance fee for your spiritual awakening once you give up, like it's like the apple in the Garden of Eden. Once you give up that nonsense, you get to be awake. You get this spiritual awakening and you start seeing things clearly. And you, will, you, t you, you stop, you've stopped turning the volume down on God or the higher power or Deus or whatever you want to call it. You stop turning the power on that thing. That's something that you know is there, that energy, right? Energia. And you get to have this relationship, um, this new relationship with yourself. It's like a rebirth. You're reborn. And um, that's what I want to do. So today we're going in a different direction. Thank you for the abstinence. But we're going in this spiritual awakening. I'm going to be t naming these videos spiritual awakening. And we're going to be talking about that. We're going to be talking about all things 12 step, all things addiction my story my journey my life because why not you know what what's that all about um and shining my light unbelievable the first video i didn't even know that was a light company i swear on my life i went over there i i, I saw the background i thought that's a cool wall saw the little light bulb and we discovered it together and that's what we're going to do on this journey we're going to discover it together there's so many ideas I've got for this channel as I've been talking about it, but I've put in my faith in a higher power and just keep taking action. Consist consistency is the creme de la creme on top of truth. You know that we talked about God's currency, the higher power. And um, here we are. So that's what I wanted to talk about today, a spiritual awakening. And you get that by abstaining from something that you're doing in your life right now where you know you're falling short, you know you're taking shortcuts, you know you're getting something for nothing, you know you're not living your truth, you know you're not living up to your potential, you know that you are showing a lack of, of self-love, a lack of self-respect to you, to others, 
So stop with the addictive behaviors, put that energy into something else, get a relationship with a higher power. I would tell you to get to a 12 step meeting, you know, get to a church, get yourself involved in a community, get yourself involved in something like Jiu Jitsu or a boxing club, get yourself involved in like a book club, anything, get part of a community that is part of growth, that something that looks out of yourself, outside of yourself, connect with others, uh, use, use techniques like meditation, use te techniques like walking in nature, treat other people with kindness, love, patience and tolerance. These, these are the codes of the conduct for the spiritual warrior. Kindness, love, patience, tolerance. And use those four things for yourself as well. You know, show yourself love. All that, all that energy and love and time you're giving to these decadent behaviors or even other people, give that to yourself. And then you will give, if you, when you put yourself first in those ways, everybody else gets a first class life around you. Um, I'm really grateful for uh, my, my life today. Gratitude is a superpower. Um, it depends where you are on the ladder, but a great way, uh, uh, this spiritual ladder, but a great way, you know, there's a saying, compare and despair. A great way to find gratitude initially is instead of comparing yourself and being in that mindset of what you haven't got, like, oh, I wish I had a bigger house. Oh, I wish I had... Um, more money, oh, I wish I was better looking, oh, I wish I had, uh, you know, I wish I was taller, oh, I wish I was stronger, whatever it is, right? Compare yourself to those things that you haven't got that you don't want, like, I'm so grateful today that I have my health, that I don't have a disease of, um, you know, with a sell-by date on it, like cancer or leukemia. I'm so grateful today that I have my two legs that I can walk on, that I'm not in a wheelchair. This is like the, the, the base level, but I would really, rather than spending your time on like looking at Instagram and thinking about what you haven't got, spend your time being grateful for what you haven't got in those things that you wouldn't want. Like, I, oh, I haven't got like um, this problem of having to pay $10,000 a month just to exist because I have all these overheads, like the big car, like the big house, like a relationship, etc., that takes that much money. You know, precious. Thank God I haven't got those pressures. Thank God that my, my net outgoings are only like $2,000 a month. Wow, I can build from that. Wow, I can save from that. Whatever it is, spin that wheel so you're not comparing and despairing, but you're comparing and you're celebrating, you know? That's the bottom of the ladder. Eventually, we can get to that childlike state where we don't even need to compare, where we're not even thinking about other people and places and things. We're just living. We're just in the moment, like a child who doesn't even think about those things. And it's just like, wow, man, this journey of life, this is amazing. Let's just, I'm just, like a child just is just happy to be here. They get up in the morning, they're just happy to be there. Doesn't that matter what's going on, happy to be here. What a great attitude. Don't want to sleep, don't want to nap love life that's where we're all trying to get back to right that childlike state that innocence that naivety that god consciousness so that's where we're at that's where we're at today we're doing a spiritual awakening we're thinking about having a spiritual awakening because what's it all about what's it all about boys and girls it ain't about the big house it ain't about the big car it ain't about the big bank balance it ain't about the stocks and the shares. It ain't about the, um, what, what do they call it these days? Your body count. You know what it's about? It's about that spiritual bank account. It's about self-esteem. It's about service. It's about a relationship with a higher power. It's about connection. And, and I'm still on the journey. I'm still learning. Um, comment, like, share, subscribe. Let's ca let's carry this message to to whom it may connect to. I'm sure it'll get where it's supposed to go. I'll just keep leading with my heart, leading with the truth, and being consistent. Okay. If you're watching this, I love you. Vacuum Deus. Have a great day. Vacuum Deus.